So in order to get you into medical school, I think it's really good to go behind the scenes and understand what an admissions committee actually looks for and what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Dr. Marinelli, you've been on admissions committees. Can you give us a little insight into what that was like? Yeah, so each admissions committee is going to be different, but typically what you have them do or what you see admissions committees doing is once a student's application is complete, so they have their primary application in AMCAT, which is AMCAS or TMDSAS or AOCOMAS if you're applying to DO schools, then you get the secondary application, which is a series of essays. So once you get that kind of package, somebody, an individual person on admissions committee is gonna review your application and they're going to rate you based on the strengths and weaknesses of your application. Some schools actually use like a numerical system, giving you points saying, you know, this applicant's research experience is a 10 out of 10. And this one may be a five out of 10. And given that level, then they actually may give you a overall numerical rating or a subjective rating, depending on what system they use, and then invite you to interview. What happens after that interview? Well, I think it's important to take one step back because admissions committees are certainly gonna review your application a lot of the time. Unfortunately, medical school has gotten really competitive. Only 40% of students get in, and there's a exceptional amount of students applying every year, 40,000 plus. And so each school can have up to 15,000 applications. True. And it's impossible for a school to review 15,000 applications in depth. That's where the GPA and MCAT really come into play. These are, I like to call them, excluders rather than includers. Mm. Meaning if mm -hmm. you don't have a certain GPA and MCAT, your application may actually get screened out of a particular school. Once you do, then you move on to the phase where somebody's actually gonna review your application in depth. And the obvious question comes up that I get all the time, well, what GPA and MCAT do I need? The reality is that every single school is different, and even within schools, there's a lot of differences in how they screen out applicants. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to check out the full course using the link in the description below for more in-depth content. If you are from California and applying to a California school, you're gonna have a very different criteria to meet that screening process yeah. than somebody from New York applying to a California school. And there's another hundred nuances within there. So each individual person who's reviewing the application typically is gonna be part of the admissions committee. They might be a physician, they might not be a physician, but what they're really looking for is an applicant who they wanna teach, who's gonna be yeah. good at their particular school, who's shown and demonstrated things like altruism, leadership, community service. These are some of the aspects that obviously admissions committees are looking for mm -hmm. along with GPA and MCAT. And then they're really looking for an applicant that's put that all together into a cohesive narrative yeah. that makes sense. So it shouldn't just be individual checkboxes of experiences. It should really be something that says to admissions committee, hey, this is why I, Renee, should be accepted into your medical mm -hmm. school. Yeah, and I think that's such a great point too to think about like, what they're actually looking for. Again, it's not just a series of check boxes. They're looking to see who you are as a person, that you are a real person. And I, one thing I think we can never discount are the students that are involved with admissions committees. Lots of admissions committees have students that are either first, second, third, fourth year medical students, and they're reviewing applications because they wanna see who their peers are gonna be like. Right. And so trying to put together that narrative and making it make sense and be a person and show those traits that you really need as a physician and a colleague. Thank you for watching. For the complete course, click the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more previews and updates.